It's been about two, almost three years since Black Ops 3 has been released and Treyarch is still adding updates to that game and it's literally May already. Like there really has to be some good numbers still on this game for there to be more updates and uh, we did get one this afternoon. Some pretty exciting stuff here that's going to be coming. First off, we do have two new weapons but they may ring a bell to you. One of them is the Stan which happens to be a weapon based in World War II and then another weapon called the RPK which is based in the Vietnam War and and the RPK was actually in Black Ops 1. It's an LMG. It does do a lot of damage. But these weapons should come out tomorrow. As of now, they are not live. But uh, it's still pretty cool for the stand to be in the past three previous COD games now. I don't know if that means anything. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be coming to Black Ops 3 along with the RPK. So start saving up your supply drops. It's pretty cool to me to see that this game is still getting support in 2018. And uh, Treyarch is on the verge of releasing a new COD game. So hats off goes out to Treyarch for their support of this game. Prop Hunt is also supposed to be coming back as well in Black Ops 3 and it's going to be pretty cool because maybe the props could be able to wall run and boost jump, I don't know, uh, but if that's the case then that would be pretty fun honestly. So if you guys out there really enjoy Prop Hunt then hop on BO3 and uh, try it out for yourself. And then finally a new map is also coming out called Fringe Nightfall which is a nighttime themed version of the map Fringe. I for one really love this map. It might be my favorite out of all the default maps but now that it's going to have its own little nighttime theme version I think I'm gonna love it even more it will more than likely be like Redwood Snow where there isn't any layout changes it's all purely a cosmetic theme version but what's pretty weird is in text it says go back in time and play the acclaimed fringe with other eyes maybe there will be some hidden Easter eggs in regards to Black Ops 4 on this map uh, but nothing really did happen after all from Redwood Snow as of now maybe there is something but I don't know we shall see Treyarch is really good with hiding Easter eggs and teasers for that kind of stuff within their next uh, within their previous COD game. I'm gonna probably be looking for Easter eggs on this map as soon as it drops, so be on the lookout for a video about that. But I really cannot wait to play this map tomorrow. Tell me how you guys feel about it down below in the comments and about these changes. Also, drop a like if you enjoyed the video, and thank you for watching. Till next time, I'll see you later.